Hello Violets! It's patch day today, and so Darktide will be receiving patch number 9, Garbs and Penances. In this video, we'll be going over the key highlights of the patch, so buckle up and let's dive right in. Right off the bat, we're getting the details about the new penances being added as well as some good updates to our existing ones. Just glancing through the new penances, all of them seem to progress just from you playing the game normally. No need to actively go out of your way to make progress for them. I'll just flash them up on screen so you can have a look at each of them. As always, feel free to pause if you want to read them. Now, let's talk about the updates to our existing penances. The gist of all of it is that the more cumbersome and frustrating penances have either had their requirements made lower or can only be accomplished in a private game, i.e. you can only do these penances if you have a pre-made group. I'll flash the updated penances on screen as well for you to see. Overall, I think this is a great change. Some of the most unforgiving penances like make every shot count where you can't afford to miss a single shot and going out with a bang where you have to explode yourself and kill three elites have been made much more reasonable to do or less frustrating to complete. I know some of you will probably rejoice at being able to finally get your tier 3 pendants gear. Moving on, there's also been a tweak to enemy spawns. For Heresy and Damnation, they've increased the population weightage of maulers and are bringing in more variations of elite patrols. At the same time, they're also making the Mauler a little more sturdy against ranged attacks so they don't immediately fall over but get flinched instead. Beast of Nurgle and Play Ogrins are having their hit zone damages tweaked. Overall, both monsters will be taking more damage across the board from our attacks but they also have their HP pools increased across the difficulties as well. Next up, we're having some weapon blessing changes. The key change being made is that some blessings are getting more tiers, meaning they aren't only going to be exclusively tier 4 or tier 3 blessings. As we talked about in the last Comslink video, Power Cycler is getting a tier 3 variant that gives you an extra hit. Tier 4 will remain the same and will give you 2 extra hits. Bloodletter from the Chain Weapons is getting a rebalance. Previously, it only came in either tier 3 or tier 4. Now, this blessing will start at tier 1 and can increase to tier 4, where it causes 14 stacks of bleed. I'll need to do some testing to see if this is a meaningful change in any way. Speaking of meaningful, the Revit Up blessing got a tiny buff. This blessing increases your speed when you activate your Chain Weapon for 2 seconds. It now lasts for 3 instead. Some of our lesser used class feats are also getting a buff. Here's the list of feats for each of the classes. I am particularly interested in the buff to the bigger they are. It's basically now giving you 3 times the damage from regular volley fire. And I think veteran monster hunter builds are about to get a little more spicier with this change. The rest of the patch notes are a bunch of miscellaneous fixes for various things like map geometry, item spawns, and some sound effect stuff as well as voiceover things. The important ones that I've plucked out are number 1. The numerous head cosmetics will no longer fully hide your hairstyles and facial hair. Excellent for those of you who, who are frustrated of losing all your hair because of a cosmetic. They've also added more crunch to the brainburst sound effects. Wonderful. And unfortunately, or fortunately, the Cantrell 9 flame shotgun will no longer shoot through walls. That was fun while it lasted, but of course, it had to be fixed. Finally, they've also resolved the problem where changing your characters would cause you to leave your strike team. That's it for this patch breakdown video. Overall, we have some new things to make progress towards now with the inclusion of the new penances as well as being able to enjoy a bunch of new free cosmetics. With this patch out of the way, I can resume with my weapon review videos as well, since I didn't want to release a weapon review only for blessings to change up and render half my work kind of pointless. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Varlets.